moving away, can't you see? Sand in your feet, feel the breeze in the summertime Stars in the sky, one dime for the first time Moving away to the sea Moving away, can't you see? Okay, so here I have a fresh um, uh, potato battery so I use fresh potato uh, the setup of this potato is the same like before so I use the potato for the electrolyte and the separator the negative electrode is of course the zinc uh, the positive electrode is carbon rod uh, and on the bottom I have some manganese dioxide so I first I make a hole in this potato with this rod then put it out and fill with um, fill with uh, manganese dioxide and then I put uh, again this carbon rod in this hole and press it down so really nice setup the voltage of this potato battery is of course 1.5 volts So you see, one point five volts, and let's see what is the current. Seven milliamps, which is not bad for uh, potato battery. Uh, in this potato battery, I use. Uh, small amount of uh, manganese dioxide so the current uh, that's why the current is low uh, but, but what if I tell you that I can run this LED with only one potato I can run with this potato You see, only with one potato. So what I have done in this uh, potato battery, I switch the zinc with uh, magnesium. So uh, the setup of this uh, potato battery, the positive electrode is of course uh, carbon rod and the negative electrode is uh, magnesium so the voltage we need to check the voltage and yeah the voltage is 2 volts so in basic in this one I don't use uh, manganese dioxide uh, for the uh, active material for the positive electrode I use only carbon rod and magnesium really awesome So yeah, you see that I create a two volts only with single potato, uh, but of course, uh, so in basic you see that I'm able to make two volts out from one potato in this setup, uh, but the current is really, really low. So the current of this type of battery is uh, two milliamps, which is not a lot. But let's see if I can change. Okay. Uh, I will add a little bit of manganese dioxide to see 
if we get some changes so I will put manganese dioxide in this hole Okay, great. Let's see if uh, the voltage is still the same. Now in basic, I increase the voltage 2.3 volts with adding uh, the manganese dioxide. So if you use only carbon and uh, magnesium, you will cre you will create uh, two volts with adding the manganese dioxide uh, for the positive uh, active material. You will create 2.3 volts. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what current we will get. Three milliamps, so it's a little bit higher. Before I get two um, milliamps, now I get three milliamps. Now I will switch from this design, which is some standard uh, potato battery design, uh, into this design. So this, uh, this setup is just the same setup which is here. Uh, oops. Oh, first I will show you the voltage. Of course, with zinc and manganese dioxide uh, like um, active material I get 1.5 volts. Uh, let's see what current I get. 61. 61 milliamps. Not bad, right? So I, if I make like this design, I get 1.5 uh, volts and 61 milliamps. So it's just uh, a current collector made from a graphite plate, uh, manganese dioxide for the active material, potato in between and on the top the zinc. Right now I use fresh potato and now I will switch this potato with this one. So this potato I boil it for 11 minutes and let's see if we get some changes. So here I have a little bit of water. So now we will see if the performance of this battery will change. Get out your seat, clap your hands to the beat, clap your 
Because I use the setup of manganese dioxide and zinc, I've of course I get 1.5 volts. But what is with the current? So before I get 61 milliamps, 140 milliamps. Really, really impressive. So, uh, if you boil the potato for 11 minutes, uh, the inner resistance will be lower. So, uh, the rough potato have higher resistance, but the boiled one have lower resistance. So, right now I will put this one uh, to the electronic load to see what I can get out from it. <sighs> Where's the negative? Ah, uh, here, no. Too many cables. It's the right. No. No, this is not the right, uh, the white one, okay. And yeah, we will see if we can run the electronic load. So I discharge this battery with uh, 60 milliamps constant load and yeah the voltage drop uh, drops to 1.1 to 1.1 volts so here is the voltage correct voltage because sometime the electronic load uh, makes some different measurement of the voltage but yeah we will see so you see that uh, the rough potato have the current of 61 uh, 61 milliamps and the boiled potato which I boiled for 11 minutes have uh, the current of 140 milliamps. So I will discharge this one and we see us in the end. And this is the finish. Uh, in basic, I discharge this battery uh, eight minutes, almost nine minutes. So I get the energy density of uh, eight milliwatt hours. Not bad. And for the last, I have the last potato battery. Uh, the voltage is 1.4 volts. Let's check the amperage. It's 220 milliwatt hours. I, I mean, uh, milliamps. And this one I will also run on electronic load. So here you see 1.1, uh, 1, almost 1.2 volts, but here is 1.27 volts. So I discharge this battery right now with 7, 70 uh, milliamps. And yeah, I will skip this one and uh, I will show you what I will get in the end. Uh, I get the runtime of 27 minutes, almost 28 minutes. Uh, the energy of this potato battery is 34 uh, milliwatt hours. Uh, the capacity is 32 milliamp hours. 
so really really good for some potato battery but now what I did to this battery uh, so the setup is like before zinc on the negative electrode uh, graphite plate on the positive uh, the active material for the positive uh, uh, the active material for the positive electrode is manganese dioxide and we have in the middle some potato piece so what I did to this potato is uh, I cut out a really a really tiny amount of uh, potato uh, this is rough potato not cooked potato or boiled potato and I put in this one so what this actually is this is uh, zinc sulfate so I put in zinc sulfate this piece of potato uh, and leave it for five minutes and that's it but yeah anyway so you can also make uh, this potato battery which creates two volts but um, the magnesium is a little bit expensive like uh, zinc that's why uh, you will good with zinc and also the performance uh, I mean you will get better performance if you cook uh, the potato so uh, cook the potato for 11 minutes uh, use active materials and you will create a really good potato batteries so guys that's it for now uh, this potato you can use uh, as pomes or batteries. Bye. Get off your seat, clap your hands to the beat, grab your champagne glass tonight. We toast the freedom in the Caribbean, yeah, in the Caribbean, yeah.